okay guys welcome back once again and in this model i'm going to show you how to create your thank you page and after you've created your thank you page show you how to create your order form okay i'll show you how to create your order form so once you've created your order form you're going to add the link of your thank you page in your order form okay so once the customer place the order they will be redirected automatically to your thank you page and finally i will show you how you can get your order code and place it on the sales page here yeah, so once customer are seeing your adverts once they visit your sales page they'll be able to place order using the order form that you see here all right so the first thing we're going to create now is our thank you page okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to add up we're going to add over to our dashboard and go to pages here then you're going to click add new page okay so once you've done that you're going to name the page thank you page for so so products you are selling so in my own case i'll just name it thank you page all right so i named my own thank you page for fingerprint padlock okay so you could name your own the name of your product or just come up with a short code to name the thank you page all right so what we're going to do now is you're going to click this edit with elemental now the thank you page is actually simple okay all you're simply going to do is you're going to create an edit that says congrats your order is complete okay then you're going to include this we're going to call you from our office to confirm your order and our dispatch agent will also call you and tell you when you will receive your order normally normally order delivered do take between 24 hours if your location is in lagos and two to five days if your location is is outside lagos okay so this is just to give them a peace of mind that they are going to receive their order okay so you also you can also add your phone number here to let them call you because we have some customers that are not patient so once they see your number here they will be able to place a call to you and have more detail on how they can actually receive their product all right so what we're going to do now is like i said initially so what you want to do is just come here come to the setting here now we want to make this a plain page okay so you're going to click this then click canvas again so everything is going to clear right now all right so as you can see what we have here is we have the headings we have the picture the picture of the product then we have this text then this with your phone number so this is very very simple okay so what we're going to do now is just come here click this then come here drag this spacer box here then drag it inside the box all right so you can adjust it then come here again then add the headings inside all right so let, i i forgot the first thing you have to do once you've created the box is come here click this then adjust the width okay so let's make it 800 okay so 800 is okay so you want to make this stay in the middle all right so you can ask you can actually adjust the the space ahead okay so i think it's okay here then what we're going to do now is i'm going to copy this congrats your order is complete all right so this is it so let me copy this come here then place it yes so i'm going to change the fonts now so i'm going to click on style change the color let's make it red okay red is okay then let's change let's change the font okay so typography okay so i'm going to increase the font here yeah, so so i think 50 let's make it 50 now 50 is okay so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to drag the image box also here drag it in the middle then we're going to choose the product image okay so this is okay good so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to come here again then we're going to add the <coughs> we're going to add a text editor here we're going to add it under the image okay so the text editor is going to contain this we're going to call you normally order do take between 24 hours and the rest okay then including your phone number okay so let me quickly copy this and paste it inside my okay so i'm going to copy this right here all right good so and that's it 
we've created the thank you page all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to publish it for us to generate the the link of this page okay remember i said we're going to copy the link of this page and we're going to add it to the other form okay so once the customer plays the order they'll be redirected to the thank you page so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to come here okay we're going to come here then we're going to click publish okay so you're going to click publish i don't want to publish this because <coughs> I have the page set up already okay so what i'm going to do in my own case is so i'm just going to assume this is the now this is the page so let me visit the page to copy the url okay i think i have to be logged in okay but then this is the url of the page okay fingerprint padlock thank you page okay so this is what i'm going to copy now so i'm going to copy this I'm going to copy this and we i'm going to use this to i'm going to add the link at the other form so the next thing we're going to do now is to show you how to create the other form so if you remember in the first module i talked about theory basic plug i talked about three basic plugin we're going to need okay the first one is elemental the second one is ninja form and the third one is essential add-on <coughs> Now, what the essential add-on does is that it allows us to easily copy the other form code into the sales page. Okay, so I will show you exactly how all of them work together right now. So we want to create a new other form. So what we're going to do now is you're going to come here. You're going to come to your WordPress admin dashboard. Come to Ninja Form, then come here. Then you're going to add new. <coughs> all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this blank form okay click the blank form and it's going to create a new form for you okay so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this now this is basically what we need we name we need the name of the customer we need their phone number we need their alternative phone number we need their address city and state their local government and the package and the package they will they are going to be buying okay so let me show you how this is done all right so once you are here what you want to do is come to this single line text okay you can basically use this single line text to create everything it's very easy you don't have to complicate the whole thing okay so you're going to name this your full name your full name okay so you're going to tick this required field now this is this is going to let them know it's composed so if they did not fill it they won't be able to proceed all right good so the next thing we want to do now is we want to add another one to it okay so what you're going to do now is you click this plus button here then you're able to choose another single line text okay so the next thing we're going to create is your phone number so click this then you'll be able to edit it here your phone Your phone number okay so click the tick the required feed also so it is compulsory their phone number is compulsory so after that click done then click plus again so what are we creating again we're going to create alternate phone number so in case the phone number they drop is not reachable the alternate phone number should be able to be reachable so we're going to choose this again so click here then make this alternate phone number alternate phone number good okay so you can make this compulsory if you want okay so i just make it compulsory so click done plus again so what are we creating again we're creating your full address with city and states okay so let me copy this just to make this fast okay so okay done okay we are adding another one good all right so this is going to be your full address with city and state make it compulsory by clicking the required field good so click done then plus again so what's the next thing we, we are creating local government okay local government all right so click the plus button single line text good click this 
then paste it then make it compulsory good click done then plus again good so what we're going to create is this now this is the package okay so as you can see i have three package here okay so if you're going to be having three package you can do this and if you can have more than three package if you actually want okay so the first package is for twenty seven thousand based on the product i'm selling so if your own product is around ten thousand seven thousand twenty thousand just choose the package here just select just add the necessary package here all right so what we're going to do now to create the package list what we're going to do is we're going to come here then look for select all right so as you can see select the select with the drop down menu so this is what we're going to be adding okay all right so you see one two three so if you want to add to you can simply click this plus button <clears throat> So the title is select then click the required button <clears throat> click the required button to make it compulsory okay so you can choose the package and so one pack for twenty seven thousand then two pack for forty forty seven thousand why three pack for three pack for fifty seven thousand okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click this done button all right so we are done now so now like i said i said we're going to add the link of the thank you page all right so let me go to the thank you page again now this is the thank you page so let me let me visit the thank you page okay so this is the url of the thank you page yeah i want to yeah so this is the actual link of the thank you page so as you can see so i'm going to copy this copy this then come here then i'm going to click on this advanced button here as you can see advanced okay no, 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 no. I think it's going to be email and action. Yeah, email and action. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click this plus button here. Okay, so once I click the plus button here, I'll be able to write, I'll be able to add the redirect tag there. Okay, so redirect. So once I've clicked the redirect, I'm going to click the setting icon here. Then I would place the thank you page URL here. All right, good. So after that, I'm going to click this done button. All right. So after that, the next thing we're going to do now is to publish the other form. So once the other form is published, we'll be able to copy the code. Okay. We are, okay. Publish. All right. So this is published. So the next thing we're going to do once the page, once the form is published is that we're going to be using the last plugin which is the essential add-on for Elemental to add the code automatically to, to our sales page. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the sales page, okay? Now, this is the sales page, and this is where the code is going to be, okay? So let me delete this and show you how you're going to do it, okay? So please fill the form below to place your order okay so the, the the form is going to be in between this timer and this text initially i talked about in the first module i talked about the theory necessary plugin we needed okay which is the elemental plugin the ninja form and the essential add-on make sure you install the initial make sure you install the essential add-on for elemental so if you if you are yet to install it all you have to do is just go back and watch the first video the first module of this video and you'll see how you can install the plugin so once you've installed the plugin you'll be able to see the ninja form code here okay so these are the features for the essential add-on so what you want to do is just scroll down then you'll be able to see the ninja form it's going to be somewhere okay this is it ninja form okay so what you want to do now you want to drag this and place it here good okay so once you place it here you're going to see this option so you're going to choose the form you created okay the form you created and you publish okay so this is the one i created fingerprint padlock 
okay so i'm going to choose this and it's going to it's not going to show right now but once you publish the page it's going to show or you can actually preview the page okay so let's see if the form has showed on the page okay so i'm, so I'm going to click the preview button now to see how it's going to look like all right so you're going to see the other form on the actual web page all right as you can see now this is the other form okay so this is how it's going to look like so once your customer see this and they place the order they'll be redirected they'll be redirected to the thank you page all right guys so this is basically how you can set up your sales page to sell your mini importation product so if you are yet to subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this and i also have a crash course on mini importation i'm going to add the link at the description of the video so check it out to see how you can get started yourself and start killing it with mini importation business in nigeria all right so thank you for watching i will see you in the next one